Hey guys, Mr. Stark again. I wanted to show you another type of uh, manual motor starter, if you will. So this is uh, the same one that's in your PowerPoint today that you're going to be watching about overloads and you're making questions on. So you can relate to this because it's the same one that's inside my PowerPoint. When I open this up, it looks like a normal switch and it's got a couple of characteristics that are different and unique to it. One, it's uh, horsepower rated and like everything else you know if it's horsepower rated that means it's rated to operate a motor this particular one is used for fractional horsepower motors which are smaller you can't really use this for something big but it does have a couple unique features on it the first feature is obviously the on off switch so we know manual motor starters you have to have a man to start it up so you got to be there to start this thing up and you know I could use this as a form of disconnect and I could use it also to provide overload protection because you'll notice on the side of this there's an overload unit a heater sometimes we call them heaters and this has got the serrated wheel with a, some sort of alloy that melts in there pretty cool stuff very similar to my other motor starter that I showed you with the overload the uh, square D magnetic uh, motor starter had the same type of overload so obviously what this would do is if I if if the motor overload uh, was to overload it would melt just like the other one and it would disconnect uh, one of the hot legs from the circuit and then the motor would become an open circuit this would be a 220 volt uh, type of setup with two hots and the circuit won't work if you open up one of the conductors there's no path home so that's uh, pretty cool the other thing is, is if this thing trips the lever becomes spongy so you won't be able to feel this action like you feel now it'll actually kind of put itself in the middle and you'll have to turn it completely off and then turn it completely on to reset it so that's one of the functions that you have to realize that it may not look like it's tripped you have to go up there and physically kind of manhandle it and it won't reset obviously if this stuff hasn't cooled down because once it cools down then that wheel won't move anymore so you know very similar to the other one so at first glance you may see these switches out somewhere and you really don't realize that it's uh, uh, an enclosure that's got a heater inside of it sometimes we call those overloads heaters and until you take it apart and you take a look at it so pretty cool stuff uh, you know we'll be using these in the field on smaller motors so keep that in mind when you're out there and you know keep your eyes open uh, that's it see you at the next video